good morning or good afternoon or good night or whatever time of day it is. It is October 1st. It's the first day of our special Halloween cat. Ever since Flynn was probably like one or two, I don't know, he was pretty small. We have this magical cat that visits our house, like a ceramic black cat head. I don't know where it came from, how we got it, but we have that. And for some reason, at some point, this cat started laying Halloween eggs or bringing presents. I don't remember. Not quite sure what I was going through in my life at the time that caused this to be a tradition that was started in my family, but that happened. And so basically what happens is every night until Halloween, this cat lays an egg. It's like an Easter egg, but it's a little pumpkin. And in it, there's like a candy or a little note, or it'll give like a clue to where you can find a prize in the house. This was something that was a lot easier for this magical cat to do when there was just one kid. And now that I have three kids, I feel like this magical cat is probably having a harder time with the concept of this now. So I don't know how long this magical cat will be visiting our house. If you catch my drift, Flynn was very excited about the magical cat and we found the magical cat within our Halloween decoration boxes. And unfortunately the cat was shattered. And so I glued it back together. Magically, the cat arrived this morning and Flynn was very excited to find a little note inside the cat's mouth. And it said, check your mommy's phone. Flynn came to me and was like, I have to check your phone. And I got this message from this cat. So I'll I'll show you that. This is what the kids watched this morning. This was sent to my phone mysteriously. <gasps> oh, hello. I'm the magical cat. Every day I'll give you a trick or a treat until Halloween. So do your best to make good choices and help your mommy clean. We have 31 days of fun together, but sometimes there will be a prize for only one of you and sometimes for all three. Are you ready to find the first trick or treat? I hid it somewhere kind of silly, a place where you all peed. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Meow! They're very excited to see that Magical Cat did put something very silly in the bathroom. There were diapers in the bathroom. In the diapers were these little Halloween Easter egg things and there was a tiny little chocolate inside and it was very exciting. So that was very fun and it's very overwhelming, I'm sure, for that Magical Cat to think of something new to do every single day for 31 days, but hopefully the cat will be able to do it. <laughs> Also, I finished some rocks, I think last week or over the weekend or something, I don't know, it was a while ago and I never showed them to you guys. They've just been sitting on my desk glistening in the light because they're very well polished. And the amount of rocks that I finish polishing become less and less just because I have less and less time to do the rock tumbling. Rock tumbling as a hobby is a lot more time consuming than you might think. If I don't have time to like really wash and scrub each rock in between each stage of grit, it doesn't work out. And so I have to be able to find a free hour of the day to do my rock tumbling stuff and I just don't really have that time anymore. So it might be a very long time before I have more polished rocks. So let's enjoy these rocks together and then move on with our day. Here's the most recent rock polish. I mean, there's other rocks that aren't included in this. This is just what worked in the little formation that I did this time around, but they're all so pretty, so shiny. My goodness, I love them. I'll show you some of my favorites here in a second, but look how shiny and gorgeous they are. Yeah, I think this one is so cool. I have no idea what kind of rock it is, but I can tell that there's agate in it. So awesome, and it polished really nicely. So I love it, it's so beautiful. This one's really pretty. I think this is like fire agate or red lace agate, or I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty and I love it. This is another really cool chunk of agate that we found on a beach on our drive home from Monterey Bay. I love this rock. <laughs> When I polish these rocks, they're super slippery, so I drop them a lot, but I don't know what kind of rock this is, but it's very pretty. This one's pretty bizarre. Not quite sure what it is. I see some agate running through and then just random other chunks of rock. I usually don't polish rocks like this, but I just thought all the lines in it were so cool, so I couldn't resist, and it polished really well, which I'm stoked about. Same with this one. I find a lot of rocks like this, but I don't usually polish them because I kind of have a hard time getting them to shine, but they polished really nicely this time around. This is a nice little potato. I'm not quite sure what it is. It just looks like some sort of orangey red quartz. It's just a nice little chunk. I think this one is so awesome. It looks like a forest or moss or something. I don't know, but it's so cool. And this one I've been so excited about. It has taken me so long to tumble this rock. I have to admit, I tumbled it for a very, very, very long time. So a lot of its original markings are gone because I tumbled it down so much. But I wanted to make sure that I could get it nice and smooth and I did the best that I could. It's still 
still really cool. It still has really cool markings in it, but I might have tumbled it for too long. This is some kind of jasper, but I just think it looks like a really beautifully designed turd. This one is a cool little tiny piece of agate. I just love all the banding on it. It's so pretty. And this actually chipped off of a bigger piece of agate that I'm still tumbling. Here's some Dalmatian jasper. That's kind of fun. I think people like when I show you the glow rocks. Some nice milky quartz. Look at this beautiful quartz. Here's the agate I showed you earlier. How cool is that? Hello. It's like lightning inside of it. Here's our friend the potato. How beautiful. Glows like the butt of a glowing bug. What are those bugs called? Fireflies. We don't have those in California. You want to see something really cool? So this is sodalite. I love sodalite so much. This one's actually sunset sodalite because it has a little red in it. I'm going to turn off my other light so you can see better. Glows. It glows. I'll show you with a thinner piece. Look at that. Isn't that so funsies? It glows. Here's another piece of sunset sodalite and she glows in the dark. So cool. Okay, that's all. I could keep showing you rocks forever, but I have a feeling that's boring. All right, I'm done. Okay, everyone's asleep and I've suddenly realized I'm very hungry, so I'm going to these open. I'm gonna try to make myself a snack. Yesterday I was going through rocks with the twins. It was not a successful experience because when the twins are helping with rocks, there's not much actual helping with the rocks, if you know what I'm saying. So we're just kind of sitting and chatting and Maisie told me that she made me a card and that she didn't know where it was. Well, today she found it. I actually filmed this whole conversation while we were doing rocks. I didn't put it in the last vlog because it was a tortilla talk and I was trying not to do too much editing. It's a very long-winded way of saying that Maisie told me she drew me a card and then she lost it and then today she found it and she gave it to me and I love it so much. Okay, this is the inside of the card. This is me and this is Maisie. I love it. Isn't that so cute? She really did try to draw like us and our arms and our hair. Like, oh my God. I love it so much. So that's my card from Maisie. I'm making myself a little organic bean and cheese burrito. I freaking love these things so much. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. My crazy story about my health and my body today. I feel like it's pretty clear at this point that I'm on a journey to try to take better care of my body. Pretty much every single vlog I am talking about how I'm going to a new doctor or getting blood work done or getting a biopsy or whatever. Like I feel like every day there's something new. I'm getting to the point now where I'm realizing maybe if I do a better job at taking care of my physical health, it will help my mental health as well. I've been having a lot of weird things happen to me recently, so I just want to make sure everything's good and I get it all checked out. You know, I've been randomly fainting, lots of bloody noses, migraines, insomnia all night, but then extreme exhaustion and fatigue all day. Obviously, anxiety, panicky, heart palpitations. That's just a few of the things that I've been dealing with, so I'm just trying to get everything checked out to make sure everything's good and trying to figure out how to better take care of myself. I'm telling you this as I'm making myself cookies at 11.30 p.m but whatever, don't touch me. Anyway, I feel like I can hear the comments being like, don't complain about insomnia and then eat sugar at midnight. I agree, really stupid. I probably won't eat one of these tonight. This is, at this point, it's just kind of like more of a ritual than anything else. I just do it every night, it calms me down. Whatever, that's not why I'm talking about any of this. I'm getting distracted. Okay, I went to a physical therapist today because I have really bad shoulder pain. Well, before I could get an appointment for this physical therapist, I had been seeing this chiropractor slash massage therapist to help the issue. And the first time I met this chiropractor, she like looked at my back. She goes, oh, so you have scoliosis. And I was like, what? She was like, you didn't know you have scoliosis? I was like, uh, nope. No one's ever said that to me before. I have no idea what you're talking about. Kind of forgot about it. I was like, ah, uh, maybe not. Like it wasn't a proper diagnosis. I kind of put it from my mind. But then I went back to that chiropractor and when they were starting on my back again, they're like, oh yeah, you're the one with scoliosis. And I was like, what? And I forgot about it again. Well, today I had a physical therapy appointment. <laughs> she was like, oh, so do you have scoliosis? And I was like, what? And again, I was like, I've never been diagnosed with that, but my chiropractor told me that I do. And she's like, oh yeah, okay. So I don't know, maybe I have scoliosis. I don't know, how do you, how do you get diagnosed with it? I'm pretty sure I have to get an x-ray to be like fully examined and to know for sure. However, the physical therapist today said it was very slight. But anyway, she's looking at my shoulders and she's like touching around and feeling and whatever. And she goes, huh. Okay, you know, we have shoulder blades. Yours are like that. 
Oh, good. I'm excited that I'm in physical therapy so that I can learn the tools and exercises to strengthen all my muscles so that I can hopefully have shoulder blades that aren't completely contorted in the wrong position. I guess I need to check and see if I have scoliosis, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna wash the dishes while these cookies are baking and while my burrito is cooking. I'm gonna leave you guys with the clip I was telling you about where I was looking at my rocks with the twins and they were just having a really cute conversation. So you guys watch that and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. But you can hold this button for me. Yeah. I did make you a card, but you don't see it. Yeah, you made me a card? You said it, but I said love. You said love? Yeah. Where's my card? I want to see it. Where is it? But I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. You can't see it, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, if you find it, can I have it? I can't find it. See, I can't find it. What's that? I can do it. Stir, 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 stir it up. What are you gonna be for Halloween? A ballerina. Wesley, well, what are you gonna be for Halloween? A clown fish. I'm mean, gonna be a ballerina. And you're gonna be a ballerina over for me. Okay. I'm gonna be a planta. What's daddy gonna be for Halloween? Daddy's gonna be a story. A story? No, Dory. A Dory. Do you know Dory is? Yeah. A shark. Dory's a shark? I thought Dory was blue tang. Blue tang, yeah. Blue tang.